In this video, we will demonstrate how to predict the location of a mobile healthcare unit that moves probabilistically between a finite number of cities and spends an exponentially distributed length of time in each. The context for this problem is the Community Health Center of Lubbock, Texas, a nonprofit medical services provider for the underserved populations in Lubbock, Crosby, Lynn, and Garza counties. The mobile unit's very interesting um, situation. They actually, we've conducted in-depth community needs assessments in the communities to assess what the need uh, for medical services out there. So, um, long story short, it varies. Uh, just depending on the need of the community, as some of the mobile units will stay out there a couple of days. Uh, they can stay up there up to a week and just provide uh, services. Uh, we'd really work on the consistency. Uh, we try to go out there on a weekly basis, if not definitely on a monthly rotation. This is our mobile dental unit. Um, this mobile unit uh, we purchased it in 2008 and we go out to five uh, counties uh, surrounding the Lubbock County and provide primary uh, dental care to the small rural communities. Uh, the mobile unit goes out uh, four days a week. Um, some days um, we go up to 10 to 12 hours a day. Um, we provide services to both kids and adults here on the uh, mobile unit. As you can see, we have uh, x-ray capabilities. Uh, we have three uh, chairs here uh, where we can do a dental hygienist for cleaning teeth, uh, your exams, and your um, operatory back there where if patients need uh, dental care, extensive dental care, we can provide the dental care uh, back there. As you can see, it's very compact. So all the services that we provide on here, it's very, we have to be very efficient uh, regarding space and just the workflow of the, uh, of the patients coming through each day. We're really trying to focus on the preventative health care, um, just because it'll limit the amount of emergency care that we need, uh, which in turn limits the amount of patients going through the ER for unnecessary procedures that they don't need to be going. Um, I, I would say we are 50-50 emergency uh, services and preventative health care. Uh, the bad thing is with the emergency is that you know if someone comes in with really bad dental care sometimes you can't do much for them until later on because they have infections I have to set them on a um, regimen of antibiotics until their infection um, goes away, then we can proceed with the care. Uh, so I, I would say, like I said, 50-50, um, but we're really, really trying to focus on the preventative health care uh, for both medical and, and dental. With this mobile unit program, we were funded a grant that was once again geared towards addressing the uh, health care needs of the migrant seasonal farm workers which is a very um, medically uh, underserved population. The mobile health care unit travels between many cities throughout the entire state of Texas and the Community Health Center of Lubbock would like to be able to predict when the health care unit will be in particular cities based upon past movements. Though the problem presented is representative of one in the mobile health care services industry, keep in mind that all data given in this video is fictitious and for illustrative purposes only. Assume that there are five possible cities that the unit will visit, and from historical data we know the amount of time the unit spends in each is exponentially distributed. In particular, the expected amount of time it will spend in each city is as follows. And when the unit moves from one city to the next, it probabilistically moves to one of the next four according to the Markov transition probabilities given as follows. Note that the assumption of one-step Markov transitions assumes that the movement of the unit is heavily based demand while in reality it is determined by a schedule. Notwithstanding, assume that the assumptions presented in this problem hold and that travel time between cities is instantaneous. It follows that the problem is to determine the following. Given that the mobile healthcare unit just arrived in Laredo today, what is the probability it will be back in Lubbock 14 days from now? The problem of determining the location of the mobile unit 
at time t can be found by modeling the process as a continuous time Markov chain and then solving for the probability distribution at time t. In particular, the stochastic model is as follows. Letting the matrix Q denote the generator matrix of the continuous time Markov chain, Note that the elements of Q may be found by multiplying the expected durations in city I by the probabilities of transferring from city I to J, yielding the following matrix. Note that negative 1 over 21 is the negative of the inverse of the expected time spent in city 2, and 1 over 0.37 is the product of the inverse of the expected time spent in city 3 and the probabilities of transitions from city 3 to 4. The solution to the problem may be found by extracting the element from the second row and first column of the matrix exponential of 14 times Q. That is the element-wise multiplication of T equals 14 with Q.